Hey everyone, welcome back to the channel. Today I want to talk about a streamer slash DAC from Carry Audio right here in the United States. Now Carry Audio was kind enough to send me their SLI 100 all tube integrated amp along with their brand new DMS 650 music streamer and DAC. Now this is an all-in-one box guys. You don't need multiple boxes, multiple cables, everything you need to have a really, really killer digital front end is in this box. And that means you can stream Spotify direct from your phone. You can stream Tidal, Kobas. It's Rune ready, so you can power up Rune and stream away from Rune. You can plug in USB devices. You can even plug in a thumb drive and load music from that. You can plug in an SD card, load music from that. It has various input and output options. It comes with a remote control. The build quality is fantastic, especially for this price point. It includes that large, beautiful display, which is easily read even from across the room. This is a streamer and DAC all in one. Now you need to either hook it up to your ethernet or Wi-Fi. It comes with three big Wi-Fi antennas that uh, never once dropped out for me over here in my guest house, which has spotty Wi-Fi. So either way, Either way that I used it, it was rock solid. Now I've been listening to the DMS 650 and the SLI 100 for the last month, thanks to Carry Audio. The SLI 100 is a 100 watt per channel, all tube integrated amp, and it is dynamic, it's powerful, it's big, it's room filling, it has amazing mid-range presence and bass, it is probably one of the best amps I heard with Klipsch Heritage speakers. I tested it with the Heresy 4, the Forte 4, the La Scala AL5s. I settled on this Carry Dynamic Duo, and that's what I'm gonna call it because they go so well together. I'm gonna call this the Dynamic Duo from Carry Audio, and they make the La Scala AL5 sing with a beauty and presence and heft and largeness uh, that is a step above uh, what I've heard them with using solid state. Um, the La Scala AL5 is a beautiful speaker. I can't get rid of it even though I love my Fleetwood DeVilles and other speakers. I love these Klipsch Heritage because they bring that live sound. That live, energetic, dynamic, <clears throat> big sound. And the Carry Audio gear here that I'm talking about today really delivered the goods with the Clips Heritage speakers. Now the DMS 650 is what I wanna really talk about today. If you're someone who's been looking for a digital front end, something that's a, a streamer and a DAC, the cables, all that that has to go with it, this is basically your hassle-free solution that includes everything you could ever want in a digital front end. Now Kerry does have um, machines that go higher. They have the DMS 700. They have the DMS 800 Professional, which is priced much, much higher. The DMS 650 is actually the starter streamer slash DAC in the carry lineup. But to me, it looks like some other manufacturers mid or top end. And that's pretty impressive because not only is the build quality fantastic with the screen, the remote, the heftiness, the nice design, it sounds really, really beautiful as well. Now I have a full written review of the DMS 650 over at my website, stevehuffphoto.com. It's been up there for a few days and I go into more detail about the DMS 650. I also talk about my history with Carry Audio. I've been listening to Carry Audio products for a long, long time. I used to own SLP98P preamp the uh, Carry V12R um, amplifiers. I had the Rocket 88 amplifier. I had the 306 200 CD player, the 306 SACD Professional DAC CD player. I had the AES six packs and uh, Dennis had preamp that went with it. I've had a ton of Carry gear over the years. I talk about that and more in the written review but I'm no stranger to Carry Audio or their house sound. Now the house sound from Carry Audio for me has always been one of room filling, big bass, a big meaty mid-range, and 
highs that are really, really nice without being overbearing. Now, the carry sound has progressed over the years from the 20 years or so ago that I was listening to the, the older designs. Today's carry, from what I'm hearing from this duo, is more snappy, has more attack, is more dynamic, but it retains that big, larger than life mid-range and that hefty, solid bottom end and the combo of the SLI 100 and the DMS 650 has been absolutely fantastic. Now the DMS 650, the all-in-one solution for a digital front end, made right here in the United States, comes in at around $4,800 direct from Carry. Carry Direct is where you can buy this direct from the manufacturer in North Carolina. Um, when I unpacked the DMS 650, I was actually surprised because I expected it to be a little on the cheap end in build or feel or looks or sound, and none of that was the case. Uh, compared to some of my big money DACs, like the Weiss DAC um, 501, the Nagra Classic DAC, those are expensive, over $10,000 DACs, and I was comparing this all-in-one streamer DAC from Kerry to those and the carry wasn't that far off. It was just different like everything in hi-fi is once you get to this kind of level. The carry will knock your socks off with rock, classic rock, metal, uh, EDM. It just has that big rocking presence. It's like a big United States 1970s muscle car, right? That's what the carry sound is like. Like you have a big engine in there and it's ready to, to just tear off the line if you give it a little gas on that volume dial. I was listening to Louis Armstrong and Ella Fitzgerald and the presence of the vocals uh, for me is what makes this carry combo so unique. Now, even when I use the DMS 650 with my Nagra amp or the Pass Labs amp, it still sounded amazing. It just has this beautiful, beefy, crispy, um, rocking out sound, but it can also be more intimate if you listen at lower volume levels. The DMS 650 definitely has a sound to it. It has that carry sound, but a little more modern. Um, now, one could go by a streamer, one can go by a DAC, right? But today, DACs, they range from $100 all the way up to $100,000, right? Listening to some of these ten, fifteen thousand dollar decks that I've been listening to lately, testing, I've become spoiled with the refinement and the three-dimensional holographic sound that they present. And make no mistake, I believe the front end, the DAC, and the streamer are what do this the most and bring this refinement out the most. That is where the magic lies, in my opinion. Does the Carry DMS 650, the starter streamer slash DAC from Carry Audio, does it deliver magic? It does. Not a 100% dose of that magic that you hear in a $15,000 DAC, but it's getting you 75% of that magic that you might hear in a $15,000 DAC, and it comes with a streamer to boot. So plug in your Ethernet, hook up your Wi-Fi, you could start streaming immediately. And this is a true high-end piece, even though it's the starter piece in the Carry Audio lineup. Remember, the DMS 650 allows you to stream uh, directly Spotify Connect, Tidal, Cobuzz, VTuner, or files stored on a network computer or even a drive you plug in. This is an all-in-one solution for a digital front end. You need nothing else besides your ethernet cable or the Wi-Fi antennas that it comes with if you're hooking up through Wi-Fi, and then you just need output cables to your amplifier, your integrated amplifier or preamp, right? So you can either go XLR out or you can go RCA out, both options are there. This also includes an Aptex HD input and output. You can hook up a set of Bluetooth speakers to the DMS 650 or headphones to the DMS 650. Now the DMS 650 also has a companion app from Carry Audio. It's not the most beautiful refined app, but within that app, while you're playing music, you can in real time on the fly, choose different upsampling rates. You can go native, say you're streaming standard res Spotify, right? You can upsample that through DSD conversion. There's three steps of DSD conversion. You can also do PCM upsampling all the way to 768 kilohertz 
all within the app on the fly. Now, I found some music sounded good with um, some upsampling, some sounded better with DSD. Now, DSD will kind of smooth out the sound a little bit. And other songs and tracks, I preferred the native resolution. Either way you look at it, the sound from the DMS 650 is fantastic. It is high end, yet it's not an insanely priced product. Uh, I said in my written review, if I had $6,000 to spend on an all-in-one streamer DAC, it would without question be the DMS 650. Now, being a guy who reviews audio, and I'm not a daily reviewer, but I do get stuff in now to review, and I've been blessed, I've been lucky to hear a lot of really high-end gear. I've been lucky to hear a lot of mid-end gear, right? I've basically heard gear all the way from the lower depths of the $100 range all the way up to not the crazy ranges, but the $50,000 range. And what I can tell you is after hearing all of these things, all that really matters in the end is if you enjoy the music. It doesn't matter if you're listening to a Bluetooth speaker, a $5,000 DAC, or a $100,000 system. All that matters is you enjoy the music, you're getting something out of it, it's, it's touching your heart and soul. Now, can these carry amp, the amp, the SLI 100 with the DMS 650, touch your heart and soul? Absolutely. It can make you shed a tear in the right moment with the right song. These are high-end pieces, but they're not priced in that ridiculous stratosphere like some gear is. Now, I admit, I love my Nagra gear that I have in my reference system, but I feel it's overpriced for what it is. It's the best sound I've had, yes, but do you really have to pay that much uh, to enjoy music? Absolutely not. The DMS 650 is fantastic. I couldn't believe it was the starter uh, box in the carry DAC slash streamer lineup. Makes me wonder what their DMS 800 is like. And I think that's over the 10,000 mark for sure. So, um, so I want to thank Kerry for loaning me the SLI 100 and the DMS 650. Uh, uh, they're kind of a dynamic duo. While I listened to the streamer with my Nagra and Pass Labs, it really came into its own when I hooked it up to the SLI 100. And especially when I hooked it up to these Lascalas. This is sounding heavenly. And I would need nothing more uh, for these Lascalas in this room. Um, beautiful, beautiful setup from Carry Audio, highly recommended. And I want to thank Carry again for letting me check out these pieces. It has been a pleasure. If you like these videos, thumbs up and subscribe. I'll have more on the way soon. Bye.